Thanks for checking out FixMyRecipe.com. Chef Billy Parisi here. Our new fix goes to Kyle of Kansas City, Missouri. Said he's been eating this awesome cheese dip while out watching the game. Wants to know how he can recreate it at home. Don't worry, Kyle. We got your fix right here. Kyle, first thing we need to do is melt this cheese because it does take the longest. We're going to enhance the flavor and add a little cream cheese to this in our pan on medium heat. Kyle, we're going to step up your recipe a little bit. We are going to cook off some bacon and set it to the side. Then in that same pan, we are going to add a little protein, put in some ground meat, cook that, and then set that to the side also. Okay, Kyle, our meat is cooked. Cheese is still melting. Now, Rotel. That's canned tomatoes and jalapenos. I don't have time for that. Let's use fresh tomatoes, fresh jalapenos. Cook this stuff off, add it together, and we are going to try out our new cheese sauce. Kyle, it takes about four or five minutes to caramelize the shallots and garlic. Next, we're going to add in our fresh jalapenos, tomatoes, and for a little lemon flavor, some fresh cilantro. Kyle, you just want to sweat these tomatoes for about seven or eight minutes. Now we're simply going to add all of our ingredients in. You asked about adding in beer. I'm going to use Newcastle because it has a really nice like toasted nut flavor that I want to add. We're going to whisk it in right at the end, finish with green onions. Mm. Kyle, you and your boys are hooked up for any college or NFL football extravaganza. This is unbelievable. So good. This is not some nasty rotel you find out at a bar. Use that bacon. Use the ground meat. Finish with beer. Finish with green onions. And you are going to love this dip. Kyle, can't thank you enough. There's a game on. I got chips. I got an amazing dip. I'm going to have myself one heck of an afternoon. Come back tomorrow, Kyle. Check out our new featured fix of the day.